So I want to clarify my position on warped hooks when it comes to Tunisian. This one here I found actually in my drawer and it was lying down. And I was as I was mentioning on social media, because of the back stopper here, this hook can never lay down flat because of the raised ridge at the very back. So wherever there's a raised ridge like that, there's a gapping space that is created because of it. And so then the hook will let when it's sitting down will naturally in time and through moisture will then start to warp. And so when you go to move it around, you'll notice that it's it's changing. Okay, so as, as I'm rotating it from the front here, you can see that the back here is being picked off the table. And you, you're thinking to yourself, well, that's not a huge rotation issue. Well, it does become an issue when wherever your hand is in the hook. So usually when we rotate our hooks, is that you can trust the tip to stay at the same point, pretty much. But if it's warped, what's going to happen when you rotate it, it's going to move it out of alignment towards wherever your hand is. Now in Tunisian, we tend to move our hands backward and the further back, because the warp is really quite clearly at the back, it can literally move the tip of the hook really out of alignment like that. So for some people, it's not a big deal if their hands are always up close to the hook. But as soon as you get more and more product on top of your loops and stuff as you're going with your Tunisian and you start hand handling your hook further and further back, as you rotate it, it becomes much more different. And as I get further back, it can become a really wild swing and it will throw your hook out of balance when you go to do that as well. So, um, you know, for some people, it's not a problem. For me, I classify this hook as garbage because this is a hook that in time, um, I'm not gonna be able to trust where the tip is. So I will never be able to look away as I, as I do my work versus in another hook where I can just Tunisian without a problem because I can trust where the tip will always be. So when I go to rotate it, it just stays position so it's not jumping around because of a warp and that's exaggerated but that's kind of what's happening so that's my opinion on those and uh, that's one thing that I like those other um, hooks out there that have the attachments that there is no stopper but this one here is a metal one so it's going to take a lot for that to warp and I have a whole set of those and those I do trust so you make up your mind. You can let me know in the comments, is a warp something that bothers you or is that something that you can get away with? You can let me know.